got to feel very happy with a win like that, and it keeps you in the playoff race. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm very happy. It's a match important for us. We knew that Sturmy was a very good team. It's a match that we had to win to keep our chances to qualify for the round of the round. What have you noticed about the team's progression from the beginning of this week until where you are today? Like, what, what, what have you improved on? Uh, on commence à, à figurer la glace. On commence à mettre nos draws au bons endroits. Uh, on a baissé nos pesanteurs de, de, de take-out. Donc, uh, présentement, on commence à être plus précis sur ce qu'on veut faire. Uh, on a ajouté un peu notre stratégie en conséquence de la glace qu'il y avait là. Donc, uh, je pense qu'on on build up le momentum pour, le, pour les playoffs. You played with Felix a few times at this Briar. Uh, first time though as a skip. What's your evaluation on Skipper? Ah, uh, il est très bon. Il fait très bien ça. Uh, pour lui, c'est sûr que c'est une première expérience comme skip uh, à plein temps. Mais uh, ça, on, on continue de bien communiquer. Puis j'espère y apporter mon expérience pour qu'il puisse mieux performer sur la glace. Uh, what's it going to take to get you to that next level and get you into the playoffs here? On uh, uh, selon nos calculs, il faut Probable gang, probablement gagner nos trois prochains matchs. Là. Donc, euh, ça va être important d'arriver à euh, gagner demain. Là. On a un, un match important demain contre, euh, contre Britannique. Euh, donc, ça va être. C'est le prochain match. Mais d'après moi, il faut euh, finir à 6-2 pour pouvoir qualifier. Je me demande si la seconde victoire à la Briar tastes as sweet ou feels as good as la première. Well, tout le monde à la Briar feels really good. Et, you know, a win, you know, we don't want to necessarily win a game like that, but at the end of the day, a win is a win, and, and we we hung in there until the end, and and proud of the team for that. But um, the first win that we had at the Briar last year was it was our first game and our first Briar win, so I think that'll always be very special to us. Uh, but it was it was great to come out of that one with a win. Uh, you're you're right. Like you got to sometimes be a little lucky. I think maybe you were at this part, but like yes. your t your team hung in there actually yes. and, and came back in the end and that shows a lot of grit, doesn't it? hundred percent. Well, we were down 5 to 0 after two and and the guys were playing really good in the first end and I missed both of mine, two zeros, and then they ended up getting three, which kind of was a bummer, but so to, to hang in there for eight more ends and 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 slowly pick away at them, that's really proud of that. I guess yep. a veteran like that too. I mean, he's got lots of prior prior experience. You guys not so much. But yeah, 100%. Yeah, every game, every rock is more experience, and and I think you're seeing that every game we're getting more comfortable and and, and getting uh, and playing better. So we're looking forward to the next two. Uh, you guys have a, a bit of a junior run to go after this. I mean, what better prep can you ask for than an event like this? Yeah, 100%. Playing against the best teams in the world to kind of uh, leading into the Canadian juniors, which we'll go to about 10 days after we get home from, from the Briar. Uh, no, it's great, and, and it worked really well for us last year. A lot of the games will be on arena ice again, so it'll be a very similar situation. Sticking here with this Tim Hortons Briar, what was the expectation for the team this week? Were you looking to match that record from last season? Were you looking to advance? advance in some ways and have you have you gotten to that point well honestly we wanted to get more wins than last year um, and you know we're on par now with last year so we'll be really trying her for the last two games but overall just uh, there's so much to experience at, at a briar when you're playing the fans the rocks the lights you know we made it to TSN kind of more um, officially than last year kind of so that was a big thing for us so no it's, it's all great how many autographs have you signed this week um, a few, yeah. And you know what? It's so it's so special to us that people are coming to ask you ask for autographs. So uh, no, thanks to all everyone who, who's supporting us, and it means a lot. You get to cheer. Uh, you get to kind of siphon off some of the fans from over there who are big Newfoundland and Labrador, they, probably big Gushu fans. But for sure, you get no, a little bit of that. They're great. Yeah, they're really great. <laughs> Brad, I know your uh, level of execution maybe hadn't been what you expected throughout the week, but that had to be a big win to get. Yeah, it was, and and you know what? It was a huge step forward as i said yesterday we took two steps forward one step back today we took a you know a good step maybe even two steps forward um, you know i thought it was a really solid game we eliminated those big misses uh where we didn't get any benefit from those shots um you know and mark played incredible today he was definitely the star of the game he made everything and uh i think he was 92 up there and they were pretty hard on him because he should have been higher i thought he played a pretty well perfect game uh, your, your thoughts then, do you think that this is exactly kind of the jump start that you guys needed? I hope so. Obviously, uh, you know, playing Brad and then EJ playing Mark and, and uh, you know, got the intensity up. And that's something we've been struggling with all year is getting that little kind of fire in our bellies. Uh, but it was there today and, and it obviously shows when we get that we could play. It's just now, you know, we're, we're not playing... Uh, ex-teammates every single game so you know we've got to find it uh, game in game out so 
hopefully we can do it as the the weekend approaches and the bigger game bigger games approach. I think it should be easier to get uh, to get that fire. Was that a game that you all had kind of circled on the on the calendar? Uh, not not really. Uh, listen, we you know we're going to have to beat them if we want to win this week. So you know you, you you just know that they're going to be there at the end of the week. So it's not even so much the the teammates part. Um, you just know that they're they're probably going to be one of the final four and. You know, we're hoping we are as well. And, and uh, yeah, you're going to have to beat them at least once, if not two or three times. That was a grindy win. Can you walk me through the, the emotion of that game and how you got the win? Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like, uh, we found ourselves in such a tough spot. We were sitting there in five, and I'm looking at playing a double to give up, uh, two to go down three, or playing a hit and roll to leave them a shot for three. And we might not even have a chance at coming back in that game. And uh, we just played the scoreboard, and we uh, we stuck to our guns, and uh, you know we made the right shots at the right time, and we just upped our level in the second half of the game, and uh, we gave ourselves a chance to win. Uh, just proud of the guys for sticking in there with me, giving me a chance to make a couple of those shots out there, and uh, just just an unreal feeling to come out there and do that at the Briar. Ninth end, I think it was that shot for two. How big was that? It's huge. Like uh, being out here on this stage, um, you know the difference between that shot to steal a one. You're down yeah. two. We make it. We're up one. Um, that's what you got to do out here at this level against these teams. You got to make those shots, and uh, we left ourselves an opportunity, and we made it. How has the team progressed from the beginning of this week? It seems like you found a new level. Yeah, we we're, we're playing really well right now. Uh, the last few months have come together really well for us. Uh, we prepared hard for this tournament, practiced hard, and uh, you know I'm just really excited for us to be out here playing, playing our best, and giving ourselves a chance to win uh, games against these great teams. Asked a few of the younger guys in this field here about what's it like seeing some familiar faces from juniors and kind of seeing maybe a bit of a turning of the guard this at the start of this quad's got to be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's super cool. Like, uh, I, I grew up playing against all these guys for our juniors, and, um, you know, like, they were always beating me, and we, we had some great games against them, and it's just cool to see us all here. Uh, it just shows how strong those years were, those teams we played against. Like, you're going to be seeing a lot more of all these teams.